ID at BIMLINK lets you publish and edit large volumes of Revit data to Excel, where it can easily be modified and then pushed back into Revit. In this video, we'll be looking at the elevation parameter, which is a system level parameter for the devices and fixture families, typically used by electrical engineers to control where the element sits relative to the floor plane. Because the elevation parameter drives a z-plane value, it's much more prone to be inaccurate, simply because we're not typically placing our devices while in elevation view. Additionally, Revit does not expose the elevation parameter through the Schedule tool, so it's difficult to audit the heights of all these element types without stopping to look at each interior elevation view. With BIMLINK, not only do we expose the value of the elevation parameter, but we let you quickly edit any that are incorrect using the convenience of Excel. Let's see how. If we know where to look, we may be able to spot a misplaced outlet or switch, as shown here. But when there are hundreds or thousands of elements, how can we ensure they are all properly placed? We can use ID8 BIMLINK and some of the out-of-the-box content to provide some much-needed quality control. We'll select the Devices Link definition as a starting point. After loading the definition, we can select the Properties button to review which properties are included. Some of the predefined properties, such as the z-coordinate value, don't apply to this particular task, so we'll remove them from our list. So we'll want to check the Categories tab. In this multi-category link definition, we can decide which categories are included. This list includes all the electrical devices, but is missing the electrical fixtures, so we'll add that. We can preview all or some of the data before we export it. Selecting the Elevation column header, for example, lets us sort and quickly spot anomalies in this preview. We can also then decide whether there are any families that we may want to filter out. For example, on the Filters tab, we can create a name-based filter that includes only those families that contain the word Sensor. When we apply this filter, the preview will update to display only the number of filtered items. Now we're ready to export the data to Excel. BINLINK lets you create either a new Excel file or, as in this case, update or add a new worksheet to an existing file. The first thing we'll want to do within the Excel file is sort our fixtures and devices according to the elevation values. This will help us easily find any problems. Here, for example, we spot an unusual elevation value. Let's copy the unique element ID from column A and check it out. After toggling back to Revit, we can go to the Manage tab and use our Select Elements by ID tool to find the culprit. After opening up the view and selecting the element, we can review the properties of this duplex and see that the schedule level was set to level 3, even though the element is part of the first floor plan. Changing the schedule level will fix this issue. Now that we've settled the issue of the rogue duplex, let's go back to our Excel data to review the remaining fixture and device elevations. This project has some atypical values for the device elevations, in part because it was started with some metric content. It's easy for us, though, to reassign standard values by using Excel's drag down copy method. In order to complete this type of quality control task within Revit itself, you'd definitely be spending several hours or even a day, depending upon the size of your project. The last part of our process is to save our Excel file and then re-import the data back into Revit. Let's take a look. BIMLINK will show a preview of all the data we're about to change and then commit the change to Revit once we exit the dialog. If you watch carefully in the elevation view, you'll see the fixtures and devices come into alignment. Wasn't that easy? BIMLINK is the perfect tool to assist with a variety of quality control processes like this one. Download a 30-day trial to see for yourself.